श्री आनंद शर्मा has brought this as the first bill before this house as has been pointed out by the deputy chairman earlier this bill after due consideration was introduced on the 21st of february 2013 so it's almost one and a half year later that this august house is considering this i was happy to listen to tarun vijay but apparently my dear friend didn't do his homework but i would like to compliment the commerce and industry minister of india nirmala sitharaman who has also now been elected as a member of this august house that she understood the importance of this particular bill considering the role the contribution of the national institute of design what nid has been able to do, achieve during the long period of its existence when it was first established in 1961 perhaps it's important for me to point out that nid was established because of the vision of india's first prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru who had commissioned the best of minds recognizing the significance and importance of design in india's development and to give space opportunity institutional support to the creativity of our young minds and that nid has been able to accomplish few years ago the upa government realized that when nid with an extension campus in bengaluru was not enough for this country we did have a new campus which was established and inaugurated besides ahmedabad in gandhinagar and i had the privilege to do that but we took a conscious decision a to establish four new nids in india one in assam one in hyderabad one in bhopal one in kurukshetra to meet the needs of all regions of india ensuring that given the pace at which this country is progressing its industrial growth economic development and new institutions getting established design is playing an important role in india's industrialization india's vaccination and also in new technologies that are getting integrated is not only just the design word has to be understood in entirety what was being said and as the minister piloting the bill it's it encompasses vast space it embraces all areas when it comes to human activity whether it's the architecture whether it's the design of an aeroplane to a small car to a furniture to a building and even in animation where india has an important role to play it's not only the bollywood but the animation industry the pace at which it is growing but we also recognized that there was one serious drawback that having invested in this institute <coughs> having taken a decision to establish four more nids nid was not given the due status as an institute of excellence because of that not one not two or 10 but many batches of bright creative young indians who spent time at the national institute of design did not get the benefit of a degree and when it was brought to our attention i would like to share with through you sir with this august house and i had also before demitting office left a detailed note for my successor not knowing that i'll have a worthy successor that i never knew who the person was going to be 
that this institution should have been given this status long back. Perhaps it was not by design, it was a default, but the NID is ranked not only in India as a premier institute, but is globally ranked, is globally recognized, is globally respected, and there are institutional linkages with the premier design institutions of the world who are doing similar work and they are benefiting through the exchange. NID reference was made by Tarun Vijay to Bamboo. Yes, NID is doing in really good work when it comes even to Bamboo and Bamboo designing. But we have a dedicated institute which is part of the textile ministry where I had the privilege to work also as a textile minister. That's Bamboo Institute in Tripura. But we have created institutional synergy between the NID, between the NIFT, and also the Bamboo Institute and the FDDIs. In the design field, there are three. And we have to recognize that. One is the National Institute of Design, then the Fashion, National Institute of Fashion Training, right. NIFT, and then the for the leather industry, FDDIs. So we have established FDDIs in some states. We have established NIFTs in some states. And from one to five, we are going for the National Institute of Design. We also recognized that there was a need for institutional linkage and synergy. And since I had at that time the opportunity to talk to all because all these institutions were part of the ministries we were looking after, those institutional linkages were created. I would also like to mention one thing, that when we are investing in these institutions, we have to keep pace with the developments nationally and globally. It's very important. More and more young people are opting for professional careers, professional courses. And time has come with the recognition of India on the global platform as a country which can contribute enormously in this field and in other field that we give that status as an institute of excellence to the NID so that it can grant its own degrees and our young people can have the benefit to, and a sense of pride when they talk with the designers of other countries, the alumni of the NID, those who will study there can stand shoulder to shoulder with those who have been educated and trained in the best national institute of designs in Europe and Americas and elsewhere, that we from India are also at par. We also have the same degrees and we can also engage with you at the same level. I would also like to record one appreciation here. Vice Chairman, sir, India has a institutionalized, structured engagement with Africa. That was done way back in 2008 when India convened an Africa-India summit of the heads of states and the governments in partnership with the Africa Union. The second summit was three years ago. That was in Addis, in Ababa, in Ethiopia. India has taken a number of initiatives to build up institutions, also for development of human resources, capacity creation, training and empowerment of people, especially women and the youth. And there are large number of institutions that India is establishing. We give thousands of scholarships under two of our programs to the African students who come and study in our institutions here, in our medical institutes, in our engineering institutions, and in our other institutions where professional courses are there. So among the institutions that we were establishing, and what is more notable is that the biggest gift of India has been the Pan-African E-Network project, where we have, through dedicated satellites, linked 48 countries of Sub-Saharan Africa, 48 countries, a major leap in tele-education and telemedicine. That's what India did. 
in the Addis Summit. Among the programs that were adopted, one involves the NID, which is directly dealing with the empowerment of the women, African women, like our women, those who use tessin, brass, and other material for weaving to help them to understand more about design, more about marketing. And the first time from Zimbabwe, these women weavers were brought to India and they benefited from what the NIDA did. And they also, when they went back, those who could only look at the aeroplanes from their remote villages were flown to India and went back empowered. And that was extended now then to Ethiopia, Ghana, and some other countries. I would like to urge Nirvala Sitaramanji to have a keen look as to how it was achieved and how that has been appreciated in those countries in Africa where NID and now in Bamboo Institute has also been drawn in that they have empowered women improving design for weaving, creating opportunities for them, and also bet better marketing facility. So I would like to place on record here the appreciation for the good work that the NID is doing. And I am encouraged that the present government and what the minister has told us is fully committed to take forward all these initiatives and to ensure that NID achieves its objectives with the coming up of the four new NIDs, these institutions, as an institute of excellence, will create more hopes and aspirational youth of India will definitely benefit. With these words, I extend our full support for the passage of this bill. Thank you.